Good morning everyone, good evening and good afternoon to viewers from all walks of life. This is Desimus and you are welcome to the channel of truth, enlightenment, freedom and the channel of breaking empire free. If you are new, on this channel I talk about narcissism and narcissistic abuse, I talk about spirituality and I talk about personal and self-development. And if any of that resonates with you, I invite you guys to join us, give us a like, share this video with friends and you may subscribe if you haven't already. And for those that have always been with us, you are welcome back. And I thank you for your love and support. <clears throat> so, chosen ones, the enemy has so many different ways that they will attack. Okay, so they can attack you spiritually, you can be attacked sexually, you can be attacked through things like addictions, you can be attacked in so many ways, you never know where the attacks are coming from. Fortunately, the awakened one will know all these attacks, they will know where they are coming in and they will know the way they feel. So those people, they usually have discernment. It is what, this is like a spiritual tool that you have to protect you from this form of attacks because as a chosen one, I will promise you, it is always going to feel like these attacks, and these attacks will not stop, okay? Now this, this video has been, um, this video has been inspired by, by a session I had lately, uh, lately, recently. Which is also an experience that I went through. I just thought that, okay, I'll wait a little bit. I was meditating on this thing uh, for a while, actually for a couple of months, until I was able to get a confirmation from another chosen one. That, okay, so this is exactly what is really going on. I was able to dissect and to understand what exactly happened at that event. Now, chosen ones, as you know, the enemy is always after you, okay, in so many ways. Sometimes the enemy will send a beautiful woman, you know, they want to date you. They may send a handsome man, they want to date you. And sometimes, like I've told you guys, most of these people, they are avatars, okay, so these are just vessels. They do not know what is happening spiritually, but for a person with a very... A person, a person like a chosen one, usually they will know that they are being attacked, even if the attacker doesn't know that it's being used or she's being used as a vessel. It could be a man, like I've said. The attacks can also be from the parents. The attacks can be sexually, you know, whereby you can just end up, you know, randomly running into some people, having sex with them, you know, those kind of one-night stands. You guys have heard about those one-night stands, and I really feel sorry for people who are still falling for those kind of things of one night stands, especially if you're chosen one. Now, there also is a way that the enemy can attack you. The enemy can attack you through food, feeding, eating, okay? And it doesn't really matter what food you eat, but the enemy can usually attack you through food. Now, as a chosen one, sometimes you might have cases where you have people that you know, okay? So you may sometimes be, like I've told you, usually chosen people, they like to be alone. They're usually isolated doing their own thing, minding their own business, you know, whatever, doing what it is they have to, they have to be the, what it, is, what it is that needs to be done and taking care of things <clears throat> and their families. But there can be a time when a chosen one can be put in a very tight spot, okay? Now for the awakened one who has really ascended very much into their purpose, they will usually not fall for those kind of games. But for an awakened chosen one, probably they are still on this journey of growth and evolution and everything. Even the pre-awakened ones as well, they may have sometimes caught up on these tricks. The enemy use the enemy can use food to intoxicate you, okay, and to intoxicate to intoxicate your body and your soul. The enemy can use food. If you're a chosen one who has got a lot of discernment you know that you cannot just eat food from anywhere, okay? Somebody comes around, they want to buy you a free meal, you know. Oh, come on, I want to buy you a free meal and these things like that. And sometimes your intuition is telling you that these people, you know, they are not straight people, okay? They could have been sent purposely to you to intoxicate you using food. So anything that comes from them, especially when they have even paid for it, it can become actually disastrous in your life. So... If you have been spiritual and physically intoxicated, you may manifest sicknesses, diseases, stomach problems and everything. But also spiritually, you can start to see a lot of delays 
a lot of you know your 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 loss of energy, loss of motivation. It's like you don't want to do anything. You get up, you don't want to get out of bed. It's also another sign that you've been intoxicated. Sometimes it could even have been in a dream. So if a person was found out that you have been eating something in a dream, and these people you're not even sure of them, you're not really you know anything which is involving eating in the dream. I really do not believe it is a good sign. That is something you really need to pray about it. When you wake up in the morning and you notice that you've been eating in your dream, immediately you wake up, start praying immediately because you could have been intoxicated spiritually through the dream. Your soul was getting intoxicated while you sleep. But like I've said, sometimes there is people that you know, okay, this could be your friends, old friends, you know, you may not really have had anything big going on with them between the two of you or the three of you. But there can be situation whereby you can be put in a tight corner. There's been something going on. Maybe you, maybe you just happen to be somewhere and probably these people offered you food. So they could have bought you food. Me personally, when a person offers me food and I'm not really sure about that person, I will not eat it. Okay. I will refuse that offer, but in the most polite way. So you do not refuse it like blasting people in the face. Just be polite about it. You could use excuses like you're not hungry or you've eaten already, something like that. If you're not really sure about that person, do not eat their food. When I'm talking about food, I'm talking about everything. I'm talking about water. I'm talking about, I don't know, fruits. I'm talking about dinners. I'm talking about whatever. Fast food. It doesn't matter. You can always find a way and an excuse to refuse eating someone's food, especially people that you're not even sure about. You can only eat from the plate that you really know. Your soul will tell you that you can eat from this person. It's okay. But you see, like I've said, there's a party going on. Okay. So you have been invited. And you ended up somewhere by some chance. It could even sometimes have, have, have caught you unaware. And sometimes you have ended up in this, uh, your, you know, arrangement. You know, there's people there. And sometimes you may be running to them. They are eating. And maybe you sit down. Maybe they have pushed a drink towards your side. And maybe you have to drink or you have to eat something. When a chosen one eats sometimes and you're not eating with the, eating from the right people, your body and your soul will get very, very intoxicated. Now, let's not forget the chosen ones. I've told you guys, these people, they are protected, okay? So they have a very big spiritual team behind them, behind them that is protecting them and guiding them on a daily basis. But there could be a few things that may skip your, uh, your mind. You know, you could run it, like I've said. People, they are eating, they are having a meal, or things like that, and you have ended up actually consuming some food from some individuals. Even if they did not know, even some of them did not intend it because they are not even aware, because I've told you many people, they are bots. So these bots... They are avatars. They are being used spiritually to do sometimes the devil's work. And some of them, due to the fact that usually they may be on a very low frequency, they may actually be used to do the devil's work. Okay? If you have eaten from a plate, most likely you have been intoxicated by those people. The food that you have eaten actually is intoxicating your body and your soul. What is really going to happen to do? What is really going to happen in that scenario? Your spirit team is going to detox you. This is why I want you guys to listen very closely. Your spiritual team, God, I don't know, universe, the angels, your guides, your good ancestors, they are going to do everything to detoxicate you because they will feel on a very soul level, they won't feel this energy. It's not clean energy. If you experience a sign where after eating, for example, in a couple of minutes, could even sometimes be a couple of hours later, you start throwing up after eating that food, you have an urging, uh, you know, you have this urge of throwing up, even sometimes you will throw up and sometimes you're going to, you will not even explain the looks of that vomit that you, when you throw up, you will not even explain the looks because it will be very, very disgusting. You could be seeing colors, you know, it could be sometimes greenish stuff, sometimes bluish stuff, sometimes it could be blood, sometimes it could be reddish stuff. You have to know that you have been intoxicated. And your spirit team is trying to detox your body and soul. So they want everything that you've eaten out of your body. So you're going to all of a sudden get that feeling of vomiting. You may throw up, you may vomit. And like I've said, there could be sometimes the colors in that vomit. Another thing, if you're a woman, for example, you may have experienced untimely periods you could have eaten something from the enemy on the enemy's plate 
and you know that okay so you usually get your period at the end of the month or at a certain day, a certain time in uh, during the month or whatever you know your dates very well and you know your schedule your schedule your schedule has always been on point okay so you have not missed out dates or things like that everything has been accurate but out of the blue you went to a certain place and you had food you came back home you went to sleep in the morning you got a period and that period will be very very painful okay very very painful it could be not the period that has happened before the amount of pain that you've had and the amount of blood loss you get will not be the same experience that you've always had before in the previous months and years that could also be a sign that you've been intoxicated by the enemy you've eaten from the enemy's plate and your spiritual team is trying to detox your body and flush out these toxins from your body so this thing could go on sometimes you may see you you find yourself bleeding for days you could have been a person who has been like having periods for two or three days. This time is going up to a week. You are just bleeding and cleaning out everything. Everything is leaving. So this is a physical manifestation of a spiritual and physical detox from your body. Your angelic team and your guides, they are cleaning and cleansing your body from those toxins. It could also be another thing where you get diarrhea. Now diarrhea is going to be very, very intensive diarrhea as well. This is something I think I've experienced the thing two or three times. You know, this diarrhea is going to be very, very intense. Okay. Other people could have diarrhea. They could also have been on that occasion and eaten the same food. They could actually even have the normal diarrhea or whatever, but your diarrhea is going to be different. You might experience some, you might experience um, a green stool, greenish stool, sometimes even a bloody stool, sometimes very watery stool. You know, you could even sometimes sit on the toilet and just, just passing out water. All those things I'm talking about, those are signs that you were not supposed to eat that food. So because the chosen ones have told you, the enemy knows who you are. Anywhere you go, the reason why you see these attacks coming in every now and then, often, you know, nonstop, they're coming in. Of course, you're pushing people away, they're coming back. You're pushing this one away. You have to know that you're constantly being attacked. And sometimes the enemy, like I've said, if they cannot find other avenues to attack you, they could use something such as food. Now, I've given you the tools. If that thing has happened in your dream, you eat something, meat, this kind of thing, whatever, with unknown people in the dream, wake up and pray very hard and break those bonds because there's somebody trying to intoxicate you in the dream or have intoxicated you while you sleep. But if it happens in a physical scenario whereby it's a physical setting, you're in a party, birthday, whatever, wedding, whatever, and you have eaten something, on that party, at that party, that thing will actually be detox. It will be flushed out of your body. Your spirit team will not allow you to get detox. Uh, sorry, you allow to get attacked in those kind of ways. If it has happened even accidentally, your spiritual team and your spirit guides, your angels, God is going to force you to vomit. It is going to be a very terrible experience, very painful vomit. You are going to have diarrhea. You may have a lot of stomach problems, you will get a headache, your body will be sweating. Sometimes, in some case scenarios, the next day you can end up with some pores on your skin. Okay, so you may have noticed that you've got a rash, a very unusual rash on your skin. All these are signs that you are being cleansed because you have eaten something from the enemy what you wasn't supposed to eat. Okay, so these are things that no normally happen very rarely, but they do. Okay, so I'm just giving you a heads up. And if you know that you're a chosen one, be very careful about the people that you're eating with, okay? Somebody's taking you, oh, come on, you know, I'm going to buy the dinner, I'm going to buy the meal. Some of these people don't even know what they are doing. They don't even know that actually they're being used. They're simply vessels and avatars that are being used actually to do the devil's work. And sometimes because you are a chosen one, there is some places you cannot eat, okay? And there's even sometimes types of food that you cannot actually consume. These foods are too poisonous and too toxic for you. So is why you say a lot of times chosen people, they tend to get into clean eating. They want to eat clean, you know, as some of them even can go into vegan diet, diets and things like that. They can start eating, uh, you know, vegan, they can go vegan or they can cut out a lot of meats, processed foods and all these kind of things. They want their bodies and their souls to be as light as it can, as light as, light as they can be. Okay. So you might see a lot of chosen people engaging in, you know, drink a lot of water, juicing, you know, eating a lot of leafy greens and things like that, a lot of fruits. When they go into sometimes proteins, they may sometimes have a, a you know, a, a, 
uh, fish or something that is very light for the body because they know sometimes these foods they contain a lot of toxins and sometimes they're not even good for their spirituality okay they are not good for them spiritually so if you chose a one like i've said be very careful i know that some of you may not be aware of these things it could be something you're hearing, you are hearing most likely for the first time but if you know that you're chosen one you go on those kind of weddings try to be very attentive be very careful don't just pick around and start eating food because there's free food everywhere you know sometimes those people can be attacked because they was trying to get a grab of this free food and everything there's food all over the place and on the table and you think that you can just go around and eat from the enemy's plate be very careful okay if you can avoid those events i would even sometimes recommend that you avoid them if you don't want to get problems you can just try to avoid those events if you have to attend those events try to make sure you have your own food okay you could have your own water you could have found had your own juice you came with your own juice so you may have actually packed your own food but stop engaging in food that you're not aware about because there's a free party there's a free food come on and eat somebody's poor dragging you around to these restaurants and buying you food actually using their own money you need to understand that chosen ones you are targeted you're a targeted individual and the enemy can as well use food to target you and intoxicate you in so many different kinds of ways okay so let us know what you think about this video and let us know if this thing has happened to you as well in the comment section below you guys know that i do love and appreciate your support book a session donate or support my channel if you want to and i would like to give a special shout out to a subscriber who has actually very heavily donated to my channel and who is also um uh, what do they call it donating to my production studio i'm creating a studio as well a real professional so that i can deliver better for you guys okay so for those of you so for those of you who want to book a session there's an email down there for those of you who still want to donate to support me you will find all the links you need in the description below and until then i will catch you guys in my next one there's almost signing out much love and blessings peace